If you drive for food delivery apps like Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, or Grubhub, you may be looking at getting a pizza bag, but which one is best? Well, in this video, back of the trunk, I have two of Amazon's best sellers. They're both Amazon Choice products, but which one is better? So let's set some ground rules for how this test is going to go. Contender number one is the New Star pizza bag. Contender number two is the Rubbermaid commercial pizza bag. So I ordered two of the exact same pizzas and they're gonna sit right back here after pickup. And then I'm gonna drive just a little bit down the road and that's when the real timer starts. So number one, we're gonna be taking a log of the temperatures of the product here of both pizzas upon initial pickup right here after I get to my destination down the road and then subsequently every five minutes up until 45 minutes. That's the temperature rating on these bags that supposedly they should keep food temp up to 45 minutes. So I'm gonna make the call and let's do the pickup. I'm just gonna narrate this portion here. We lost the sound on this one, but so the nearest pizza here, that is the Rubbermaid commercial. And then the far pizza, that's the new star. So real simple, what we're gonna do here is take the temperature of each pizza right in the center from about a foot away. And we'll take three samples each time. So for the first time, for the Rubbermaid pizza, that was 120 degrees, 118 degrees, and 117 degrees. And then I did the same thing for the new star. This is right after pickup outside of the restaurant. So this one was 110 degrees, 111 degrees, and 111 degrees. Welcome to Mission Beach here in San Diego, California. We had to run 15 minutes south a little bit and obviously film somewhere a little bit quieter. So I'm very curious how these pizzas have held up during that drive. So just to review, this bag is our Rubbermaid commercial and this bag is our new star. So let's check the temperature here. I am really curious. And speaking of curious, if you're curious what kind of pizza this is, this is a street taco pizza. And I can't even eat it right now. <laughs> but they look fit. This one feels warm. Okay, so let's go with the Rubbermaid here. I have my notepad here just to document. So the Rubbermaid was around 120, 118, and 117 respectively on our first temp check. So I'm curious. Wow. Okay, 105, 103, 102. Okay, let's put that back in there because that is dropping. And let's do a record here. Awesome, and that's our Rubbermaid. So let's check our new star. 104, solid. 101, 99, excellent. And let's put this one back in here as well. All right, so now we have a five minute timer before our next temp check. So let me tell you a little bit about each one of these bags. All right, so we got some notes here to reference. Let's look at the new star first. So this retails, at least at the time of filming this, at $28.91 on Amazon. And I mean, to be honest, these bags are pretty big. <laughs> these are bigger than I expected. So this one's measuring in at 22 inches by 22 inches by five inches. So the new star you can get in red or black and the build quality, this is water resistant vinyl. The features on the new star, it can hold a max of two 20 inch pizzas. Now the little tiny one I got, that's a personal eight inch pizza. So I can definitely see two 20 inch pizzas fitting in here. We have a dual handle for easy carry. I mean, there's nothing too exceptional about the handle. I wish it was a little bit more plush actually. And this was a bag that stated food could keep at temperature for 45 minutes. All right, so turning our attention to the Rubbermaid commercial. At the time of filming this video on Amazon, the price on this one, $28.91. Quick correction on the price here. So the Rubbermaid is actually more expensive than the New Star. So I incorrectly stated the price on the Rubbermaid. That's actually $42.99 at the time of filming this video. And then the New Star is $28.97. Size on this, 21 and one half inches by 19.75 inches by 7.75 inches. Now this one you're just gonna get in the traditional red. Build quality on this one is nylon. The max capacity on this one states three 18 inch pizzas or four 16 inch pizzas. Now this one also states you can put it in the dishwasher. 
Now, I don't know if I would do that if I want to put this in the dishwasher, but that is a feature of the Rubbermaid bag. I mean, honestly, I think just a good kind of wipe down clean is pretty good for this. And that's something I didn't see on the new star as far as being dishwasher safe. All right, we just got 45 seconds until our next temp measurement. So let me just give you my first hand impressions of these bags. Number one, with the Rubbermaid, obviously a trusted brand. I like the build quality on this one better. It's more plush, you know, it does feel a little bit more quality. It's got the logo in on the side. I don't know. It just looks a little bit more professional. As far as the carry, you know, I'm disappointed with the carry handles of both of these. I think that these middle joints, if you can see that there, I think the middle joint could be a little bit better. It could be padded and it's actually sewn together. So whenever you're carrying your pizzas for your delivery or to take in your home, I would have liked that middle handle to be a little bit better. And there's a hook right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Rubbermaid states this is for drying. So if you do run it through the dishwasher or whatever, wipe it down, you can hang it up to dry. All right, I can't get to the new start here. We gotta make our next temp measurement here. So you know what, let's start with the new star. Let's alternate just to make sure I'm not messing, messing with the temperature by choosing one over the other first. So the new star, dead center, let's go. 99, 97, 94. So let's check out the Rubbermaid. Again, right in the center from about a foot away every time. Oh wow, 103. That's 101 and then 98. And we'll reset the timer, another five minutes. So now let me share with you my first impressions on the new star bag. It is vinyl versus the nylon of the Rubbermaid. I don't know, it does look a little bit uh, cheaper in my opinion. Now this one is bigger, the new star slightly than the Rubbermaid. And again, I'm not a fan of this middle being sewn together. I mean, I get it because that's the way you carry these bags. But I mean, they just sewed the pieces together. I, if, they, if they're gonna keep this like this, if it's gonna be sewed, I would have liked some kind of padding there. Now I'm noticing, if you can see that, there's grommets on either side. Now, New Star states that for, that's for steam. Let's check for grommets on the, um, the Rubbermaid because I thought this had grommets. Okay, yeah, you may be able to see there. If not, I'll give you a better view. But the uh, Rubbermaid has grommets, it looks like on the back, on the back of the bag. The New Star has, okay, just one grommet on either side and the back. So there's one grommet on every single side, except the front, on the New Star and on the Rubbermaid, there's just two grommets. Let me double check. Yes, two grommets on the back. And then final first impressions. Again, I just think the Rubbermaid looks a little bit nicer. I'm guessing it's that nylon, it's the material or something. It just looks a little bit more quality. Again, the handles are kind of a letdown. And I don't know. I mean, other than that, the, the piping on the side, as far as the stitching, it's hard to really tell a difference there. Now, what I am noticing on this Rubbermaid, and maybe this is just the one that I got, but there's very, very light fraying. There's some very light fraying here with some, um, I don't know what this is, threading or something here, but it doesn't look to actually affect the quality of the bag. All right, time for another temp check. Dead in the center, that is 99, 97, 97, 99, 96, 93. Maybe that caught a gust of wind or something. All right, another five minutes. We, of course, alternate our pizzas, our street tacos pizza, which look at me every single time and they look pretty delicious. <laughs> a 99 for the new star, 94, 95. Interesting, dropping a bit, 96. 93, 93. I held that one a little bit longer. I was surprised it dropped all the way down to 93. Again, this is not scientific. I'm trying to do this the most consistent way possible, but it did read 93 both times. Another five minutes. By the way, this is what I'm doing in between temp breaks. I could not stare at two delicious pizzas when I haven't eaten in a while and not have some for my own. So we got a third pizza as well. Okay, extremely hard to step away from that pizza. 93, 94, 
and 92. Now let's look at our new star here, 95, 92, 91. All right, 30 minute mark. And I think now we're starting to see some noticeable temp declines, especially from when we first started, of course. Still pretty good, 93, 91, dipping down, 89. And the Rubbermaid, 90, 90 again, 88. This is the 35 minute mark, 88, 89, 89. Well, there is quite a drop now, obviously. It's been, what, a total of uh, 45 minutes until we actually pick these up. Picking up, traveling here, waiting a little bit. 91, 89, 89. C15. Actually, let me know down below in the comments. Do you currently have a pizza bag? Have you been considering picking one up? Or, I mean, even if you're not a delivery driver, you just get take out a lot and you get pizza, you pick it up yourself, could be a good pickup. And we have just a little bit of time here, so I wanna show you this for reference. So here is the standard DoorDash bag that DoorDash is gonna give you. Uh, Postmates is really the same bag, just different branding here. And this is a 16 inch pizza that yes, I got all for myself. Don't judge, it's delicious. So this is about as large as you can fit in this DoorDash bag. And this does close, but I just wanted to show you this. So that's about all you can do when it comes to pizza deliveries on DoorDash or with the provided Postmates bag. 88, 89, 87, 88, 88 and 87. Okay, so our last measurement, 87, 87 and 86. Our last measurement here, 87, I'm surprised these are pretty, pretty close still, 86, 85. So that is it and interestingly, these were both about 10 degrees apart when we first started, but they finished around the same temperature. So that means that technically one of these did a better job. So let's go home and look at the numbers. All right, so what's my final verdict on this after doing the temp check, after getting my hands on both of these Amazon Choice bestsellers? Well, at least in my tests here, I was surprised the winner was the new star. Now that's based on the difference in temperature from the starting temp to the ending temp. So for instance, the new star bag, it averaged out at a starting temperature of 110.67 degrees versus the Rubbermaid, the average starting temperature on those samples was 118.33 degrees. But here's where the difference was. The average ending temperature for that Rubbermaid was 90 degrees. Compare that to 86 degrees for the new star. So looking at the actual temperature difference, the Rubbermaid lost 28.33 degrees in this sample. And then the new star lost less heat, 24.67 degrees. So if you wanna just go black and white, which bag is better based on just this temp test, that's the new star, but I have some other thoughts. The one that I'm gonna use going forward is gonna be that Rubbermaid commercial. Now, again, it's more expensive. It's $42.99 versus $28.97 for the new star. So that is a significant difference. But for the points that I talked about, the build quality, the Rubbermaid is superior in my opinion. For me, it was the little things that caused Rubbermaid to come out on top. It was, again, that nice quilted look exterior of the nylon on the Rubbermaid. It just had better build quality in my opinion. Now, both did drop the ball on that handle. I don't know why, especially the Rubbermaid at $42.99 is going with that kind of cheaper handle but even the inside of the Rubbermaid looked better than the new star, in my opinion. Now, I don't want you to discount either one just based on this one small sample size. Obviously, this is one test from me, a completely non-scientific test to make your decision, but let's say the new star, if you want a more budget option, that one's great. It's what, $28.97, or if you want to spend a little bit more and have that trusted brand with Rubbermaid commercial, if you want that better build quality, and in my opinion, the better aesthetic, the better look, you can spend a little bit more and get the rubber made. So let me know down below in the comments which one you're gonna pick up after this video. I will have both linked down below in the description. 
And for even more side hustle accessories, make sure to check out my Amazon storefront that is also linked down below. If you wanna see more gear comparison videos, drop me a like, and you can also click or tap the screen now for my most recent video, as well as a video recommended for you, and I'll see you in the next one.